Hey guys, welcome to Thanksgiving holiday weekend. It is in fact Black Friday. Um, unless you're an idiot, you should be where I'm at and that's in my cigar box guitar shop. Certainly not out with the throngs and mobs of people trying to save $3 on a TV that won't last three months. All right, the music lesson for today is, you hear that? It's North Mississippi All-Stars, which is Cody and Luther Dickinson playing Going to Brownsville, going to Brownsville to be more exact. That is an old Furry Lewis song, and I'm going to give you links to both so you can kind of hear it. It's got the hammer-ons and pull-offs, very distinctive. But once again, today's music tip is going to Brownsville. My camera person, Kendra, hates this song as much as you're going to love it. Anyway, before we get rolling here, I want to uh, remind you, uh, give me a like at the bottom, subscribe if you haven't already, and I want to thank whoever's been subscribing. My subscription list is going through the roof suddenly in the last week, so whoever's doing that for me, thank you very much. It tells me that somebody's watching my videos besides me. Um, thanks. Anyway, those links will be at the bottom at the end of the video along with my email and of course the things I talk about including, once again, <laughs> Luther Dickinson and Cody Dickinson going to Brownsville. Links for that and the Furry Lewis song will be up in your upper blah, 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 right. Yeah, right. Right. That's right. So between Thanksgiving and Christmas is a really busy time for me. Let's have a quick look at what's on my bench right now. Okay, my bench is full. I've got this license plate guitar that I'm building. This also, like the last one, is going, going into a raffle uh, for charity. The local music group for the elementary school, I build uh, two guitars for them a year. This will go off in the Christmas raffle for the Christmas concerts. Happy to do that for them. Then I've got these two coffee can guitars. They're both going to go to artists that you know, two different artists. Uh, this one will stay as it is. You'll be able to see this uh, old butternut, 11 cents off. Imagine what the whole thing cost back then. But then this one is being set up to take the logo off of this can and put on the outside. If that's not enough, over here... I've got something that really should interest you. I should probably do an episode on this. Because some of these Camacho boxes aren't really big enough to make a guitar out of. And you buy them up in package lots with the Scar Box store, or the Scar store, so you can get to the boxes you need. Look at this. Check this out. Cigar Box Guitar Purse. Ooh, they're going to die for one of them, right? Real simple, got a handle, got a latch, open right up and you put all your stuff in. I got to cut these bolts off. In fact, I think I'll do an episode real soon about how to make one of those. Okay, today we're going to focus on what's necessary to cut holes in metal to do it easily. I mean, if you have a, a plasma cutter, that's really easy cutting torch a little bit too much you'll you start a fire in your shop or whatever but i'm going to show you a couple real cool tools on how to cut these in quickly so you can turn one of these out so let's hit the bench okay uh i want to use this one for an example here's one of those cheap pickups i did an episode about i'll give you a link to that one these pickups work great for this application I've got some wood here. I've got to put the fingerboard on and cut it down. Uh, and I have to be able to glue the neck board on and that kind of thing. Okay, the focus of this episode is how do we cut this hole in a can? Um, and the first thing we need to know is where does it go on the top of the can? So it's pretty easy to take a tape measure and measure. I like to start where this, this uh, reinforced strip is and use that for a centerpiece because most of the time the graphic lines up that way anyway. Again, it won't matter this time because I'm putting this logo around this can for the artist. But anyway, if I lay 
a piece of neck stock up there and measure this way and this way again using millimeters I like to do that I'll find a center point once I've got this lined up I can just take and make a mark here and then I tape it off with uh, masking tape and that gives me my marks here so then what we end up doing is we take there's got to be this is going to be notched out like so and you want to remember I did an episode about a coffee can guitar and showed you how to build this start from finish I'll give you a link to that but anyway we need the thickness of two boards to come through here uh, for this hole right here now you don't have a plasma cutter and you're starting to use this type of thing to cut by drilling a hole in like here 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 and here and then you're using this this ends up being all warped and then you're trying to use tools like this well guess what I've got an easy way to do that so let me move this out of the way and show you a couple handy tools first off I found this thing it's called a nibbler and what you do is you put it in a drill you could put it in a uh, a uh, drill press and you put it tighten down your chuck and what happens is I don't know if you can see this but watch right here when I squeeze the drill that goes up and down and what this will do is it will actually cut metal in any kind of a line based on where you have this and where you're steering it to hey check it out there's some Luther uh, coffee can guitar music going on in the background next thing I want to show you I might have shown you this before this is actually a belt grinder it's got a belt on it here and you can take this once you've nibbled that out and do this kind of stuff and flatten this out it fits just about anywhere this is a handy tool you can take it down into this kind of stuff here like so um, but I've got the cover off of it here because I want to show you there's replacement belts for it you simply pull a cover off this covers got an allen wrench here uh, allen bolt and it fits on like this but you simply pull this off and you release the tensioner and it allows you to put a new belt on you put the cover back on you're good to go all right that covers back on and this is ready to go again these replacement belts are easy to get a hold of where you buy this this also has a place for a handle on it anyway if you get your coupons right and you get your deals right you can get both of the this grinder and this nibbler without the drill for about 60 bucks less than a hundred total if you don't have the coupons now I'm going to move the camera on get set up and we're going to show you how to cut a hole like this in a coffee can like this using these tools now you want to remember I always use these two pound coffee cans are the perfect size but I'm going to use this bigger can for an example this will make a pretty big uh, guitar if you want to try it go ahead but I'm going to show you uh, an example by using this one because it has a nicely uh, marked out square line here I'm going to show you how to cut this out using these tools now I'm going to need three sets of hands here uh, to do this so uh, I'm, I've got a couple tricks here I'm going to take this piece of cut off neck board and put it about right here and then I'm going to go over to my workbench and I'm going to tighten this down where this part is sticking up where I can use my tools here all right that piece of wood took up some room here where it's not we don't want to crush this can but we want it to be nice and sturdy like so now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to use this drill and follow this up with this nibbler to each corner but in order to get that there I've got to drill a hole right here for a starter hole and that hole has to be big enough for the head of this nibbler to fit down into so I've got a bit right here that's just perfect it's just a tad bigger than the nibbler head now as usual I don't go in right away trying to drill a hole this big I'm going to drill a pilot hole in each of these corners first
Okay, now I've got these holes drilled. I'm going to stick the nibbler down in the first one and line it up. And then I'm just going to pull the trigger and use the handle and the direction to move ahead. There we go. I've got this roughed out pretty close to the lines. Now let's get our sander and see what it'll do. The very first thing that you want to put on before you do any of this cutting is a pair of safety glasses, especially now that we're going to use the grinder because this thing is going to throw some sparks and stuff. So the nice thing about this is I can set how the head rotates by simply unscrewing this a little bit and moving it back and forth. So if I want to work on it like so, I'm going to set that angle and then I'm going to pop the head like this. I'm going to make sure my belt tension is where it needs to be and that this is tight. This actually will allow you to move the belt this way or this way, just like your big belt sander. Anyway, let's have a look. All right, the hole's cut out. Got a little bit of work to do on the corner still. There we go. Now, I, now as always, I just take my, my file, my hand file, Knock those edges down. Like so, and of course, I want to make sure that when I'm all done, this is smoothed off enough where there's nothing sticking up. If somebody touches this, they're not going to get cut. But when we take this out of the the clamp, I mean that does pretty good for the tools I have. Okay, that was pretty easy. Um, those tools are indispensable. They're not that expensive. And uh, I've had a couple of comments from people and emails suggesting that I do a video on some of the tools that I just can't live without. And I'll put that one in the back of the memory and, and try to do one for you. So uh, I'm gonna let you do your, the rest of your Thanksgiving holiday and hope you have a joyous holiday season. I'll try to get a couple videos out before Christmas. See you soon.